Heather and Brian, we rejoice with you today in the presence of your family and friends. They're a very special part of this occasion. Your parents in particular, who have watched you grow, mature, and finally reach to this very special moment. They have loved you, shared special moments with you, prayed for you, dreamed with you, and affirmed you. On behalf of her mother, stepfather, stepmother, and myself, we happily present our daughter to be your bride. Heather has always been um, a really big inspiration to me. She's always been one of the most driven people who told me to always follow my dreams because she's that kind of person. When Brian and Heather came back from California and he walked in, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I was like, welcome home, because he'd already become one of our family. And I know it's official tomorrow, but for me, it's been there. The winter of, of, of 83, I think on this very day, as a matter of fact, that I, uh, <laughs> that I first met Brian. <laughs> It wasn't until the winter of the winter of 13 that I that I first met Heather, and it was 30 years later that I actually saw Brian as being complete because I knew that Heather completed Brian. Brian can sell anything. He can he can sell anyone on anything. He can market anything. He can sell anything to anyone. But when you introduced me to Heather, you didn't have to sell me at all, man. The first time I heard you laugh at one of Brian's jokes, I knew, the, I knew it was so genuine, and we laughed together, and I knew you were the girl for him. So congratulations, guys. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Honey. You look so handsome. Wow. Oh my gosh. Are you ready to do this? I am ready. Let me spin you. Oh my goodness. Babe. Will you, Brian, cherish Heather as your lawful wedded wife? Will you love her willingly and completely, withholding nothing? Will you protect her and give her your deepest considerations of her feelings? desires and needs? I will. Will you strive to understand her, giving her comfort when she seeks it from you? Will you never say anything in anger that you wouldn't say in friendship? And when each night comes, will you go to sleep with thanks for her presence at your side and renewed love for her in your heart? I will. Will you strive to keep your love flexible and adapt to changing circumstances in your marriage? Will you be Heather's counselor, helpmate, sweetheart, lover, and best friend from this day forward? I will. Will you, Heather, cherish Brian as your lawful wedded husband? Will you love him willingly and completely withholding nothing? Will you protect him and give him your deepest consideration of his feelings, desires, and needs? Will you try to understand him, giving him comfort when he seeks it from you? Will you try never to say anything in anger that you would not say in friendship? And will you go to sleep with thanks for his presence at your side and a renewed love for him in your heart? I will. Will you strive to keep your love flexible and adapt to the changing circumstances in your marriage? And will you be Brian's counselor Helpmate, sweetheart, lover, and best friend from this day forward. I will. Brian and I both moved to Tulsa around the same time, within a year of each other. And he was at the ORU campus, and I was recording music with people who were on the ORU campus. So I wrote a song when I was 19 years old. The song, it's about my future husband, and it's the whole song is about, have I met you yet? Do you know my name? Are you waiting for me? Are you looking for me? Because I'm waiting for you. And I'm so glad that I waited for Brian because he was so worth the wait. And for your birthday, I re-recorded that song. We walked on the aisle to 
Ultima. So first and, and most important to my heart, um, Heather, <laughs> I, I just want to say thank you so much. You, every single day, you, you exceed any expectation that I even have of life in general. You, you just take things over the top for me. You, you are so amazing. Heather did all this. She knows that I'm a, I'm a little bit crazy and that I've got this side of me that's a little bit over the top. Um, and I know, you know, most Oklahoma guys don't have that, but that's because I'm from California. And so Heather just, she, she nurtures that and just takes it to places that I never imagined. Thank you so much, sweetheart. It is beautiful. Cheers. I want you to know that since the first day I met you, I really felt like you were my family. Thank you for putting on an effort to get to know me personally and to invest in my life because seeing y'all just makes me want to dream about having someone like y'all have and I'm just really proud and happy for y'all. And on my last note, have babies. <laughs> when I met Brian, because I don't remember when I met him because all the times we're together because every time he was just as excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, just as happy to see our whole family, which, good job. Um, um, but it's nice to meet somebody who is the same as you, who wants the best for you and the two of you together. And uh, Brian, is, I'm so excited that you're part of it. Brian and Heather, you have professed your love for each other in the exchanging of your vows. You have symbolized your commitment by the exchanging of your rings and by the power vested in me by God and the state of Oklahoma. I pronounce you husband and wife. Bride, you may now kiss your bride. It is my honor and privilege to be the first to welcome and introduce Mr. and Mrs. Brian McCullough. Those that know Brian McCullough, they know he doesn't like to settle. I'll never forget this time. We were in Houston, Texas for a conference, and uh, it was about 100 degrees, 100% 100 humidity. And uh, even though we have these fancy iPhones, we could have looked up a restaurant to go to. And based on the Yelp rating, we could have gone to that restaurant. But Brian was afraid he'd miss out on something. Oh, Paul, what if we, what if we miss this dive? Paul, what if we miss this hole in the wall? So we kept walking and walking and walking in Houston, Texas to try to find this amazing restaurant because why Brian didn't want to settle. Brian McCullough is not one that settles. He, he wants nothing but the best. And so finally, a mile and a half later in downtown Houston, Texas, we made a couple of circles as I recall. <laughs> we found a spot and we dined, photographs were taken and it was memorable, of course. But Brian, he does not like to settle. And let me tell you something, he's not settling with Heather. She's the best. Heather is also someone who does not settle. She does not give in very easily. Um, we had an amazing adventure overseas in Europe, and I could be here all night telling you the stories of the craziness that we endured, but that trip was absolutely phenomenal, and every single aspect of that moment was fantastic because of her hard work and her dedication and her ability to just make every moment special. And I think all of you are experiencing that tonight as you look around and see all of the attention to detail that she gives because she has something that no other person has. And it's just this creative, intuitive mind of knowing specialness. And I think that says a lot about Brian because Brian, obviously you have that most amazing and most special feature that she's been seeking for so long. Whenever I, I think about marriage and when I think about people coming together, the Bible verse that comes to mind is, is Proverbs where they say that he who finds a wife finds a good thing. And Brian, you have found a darn good thing, buddy. She is fantastic and you cannot do any better than her. Congratulations, you guys. I will never forget, we were in New Orleans together. We sit down to eat, I'm like starving. The food comes out 
I'm ready to eat. These two are like rearranging the plates on the table, bringing in the flowers, the salt and pepper shaker, getting out their cameras, taking, and they're both on either side of me, like doing the same exact thing. And I'm looking around going, wait, can I eat? I'm hungry, can I eat? What's, wait, am I, are we taking, do you need to take pictures of my food? What's going on? And they did that at every single meal in New Orleans. And it was just like simultaneously, as soon as the food hit the table, I was like, oh my gosh, these two belong together. You know, I, I gave some advice to Brian, and it was when I was helping him move some furniture into his apartment with Heather. And the advice I said was, you need to marry this woman. Because after we moved some pieces of furniture, she came out of the kitchen with a cheese spread and wine and beer. And Brian's like, bro, just sit down and enjoy. And I'm like, oh, I will. I will. And at that point, I knew that he married the best to Brian and Heather. I've known Heather for half my life. She has been my best friend for a very long time. So we know each other very well. First time I saw Brian, um, I was going to a cooking competition. I was there to support her at the expo. I was watching her after she got done. She sat down and she was just a little bit relieved and stressed out. And she was like, man, I could really go for a rock star right now. Brian gets up, comes back, gives her her rock star. And I'm like, marry that man. But I just saw how he was so attentive to every single need and he treated her like a princess. And I just have never seen anybody treat her so well that I stood there and was telling her afterwards. I was just like, so, I just thought it was so awesome. And I started crying and I was like, this is the man for you. He's wonderful and I'm just very, very happy for them. So, well done. Maybe I love you. Thank you so much for the 14 months of planning and putting this amazing event together. I'm so grateful and I'm so grateful for everyone here. Um, I look out in the audience and, and just see people who are great friends, family, but really everyone here is family. So thank you so much, everyone. We love you and you're amazing, babe. I love you, I'm so excited. God, we ask your blessing upon Brian and Heather as we celebrate this momentous occasion in their lives. Grant them happiness and contentment as they come together in marriage, create a new family, and explore the depths of their love for one another and for you. Bless their home as a place of love and peace. Bless their families and friends and the relationships which have supported, strengthened, and helped them throughout their lives. Father, I pray that you are in the center of their lives and that you help them draw closer together as they draw closer to you. Amen.